Mr. Massey of Kentucky is not accountable to the residents of the District of Columbia, but he is offering an amendment to effectively wipe out all of the district's gun safety laws now and, and in the future. This amendment is being offered by a member who claims at every turn to support the principle of local control of local affairs, yet it is, he is using the big foot of the federal government to overturn local laws. While we are still reviewing the full effects of this amendment, it appears to prohibit the district government, including the Metropolitan Police Department, from enforcing almost all the gun laws uh, of the District of Columbia. The D.C. government would not be able to stop a person from carrying openly or concealed an assault weapon, including a 50 caliber sniper rifle with a magazine holding an unlimited number of bullets on any street and in any building except, of course, federal buildings like the one where we now stand. Every single federal court that is ruled on the constitutionality of the district's post-Heller gun laws has upheld them, upheld our assault weapons ban, upheld our ban on large capacity ammunition feeding devices, upheld our registration requirements. It's a flagrant abuse of democracy uh, by a member who comes here with a Tea Party principle that says power should be devolved to the local level. He is playing with the lives of the American citizens uh, who are now accountable to him, who live in my city, and he's playing with the lives of the federal officials, uh, visitors from across the country, whom we are charged uh, to uh, defend and protect while they're in our city.